Welcome back to 31 Days of Oscar here on TCM. I'm Jacqueline Stewart, joining you from the Academy Museum in Los Angeles. Up next, we have the movie that won the Oscar for Best Picture of 1947. Starring Gregory Peck, Dorothy McGuire, and John Garfield, it's Gentleman's Agreement. Peck plays a magazine writer who gets an assignment to research and write a series of articles about anti-Semitism. At first, he struggles with the assignment because he can't seem to understand the issue in depth. But that changes when he comes up with a new angle. He decides to pretend to be Jewish in order to experience anti-Semitism firsthand. Gentleman's Agreement was released in 1947, and it marked the first time in Hollywood history that a major production tackled the issue of anti-Semitism head on. It was also the first time that the acclaimed Jewish playwright, Moss Hart, received his first solo screenwriting credit. His wife, Kitty Carlisle, later said that the job was a labor of love for Hart. Ironically, the film was produced by Daryl Zanuck, one of the few studio heads in Hollywood who wasn't Jewish. But Zanuck believed in the film's message and supervised the production from start to finish. He rounded out the cast with a top-tier group of supporting players, including Anne Revere and Celeste Holm, both of whom earned Oscar nominations for their performances. Holm ended up winning the award, and the film also took home Oscars for Best Picture and for its director, Elia Kazan. From 1947, with an Oscar-nominated screenplay by Moss Hart and Oscar-nominated performances from Gregory Peck and Dorothy McGuire, here is Gentleman's Agreement. Gentleman's Agreement was adapted from a novel by Laura Z. Hobson that was published earlier in 1947 and quickly became a bestseller. Director Elia Kazan's film adaptation premiered in November the same year and broke new ground as the second major Hollywood film to attack anti-Semitism. A few months earlier, RKO also tackled the subject in the provocative film noir, Crossfire. But Gentleman's Agreement was the more expensive and prestigious production. Despite being a groundbreaking movie, director Elia Kazan later said that he didn't think the film went far enough in depicting the painful reality of anti-Semitism. He said that it was, quote, kept on a level of acceptability. It surprised people, but it didn't shock them. Kazan felt that it was, in his own words, a cop-out to make a film about a Gentile pretending to be a Jew. He felt it would have been more powerful and genuine if the story had been about an actual Jew. But he was proud of one scene in the movie, when Dorothy McGuire tells John Garfield about some of the atrocities she witnessed, and Garfield replies by asking her if she did anything to stop them. Up next, Bing Crosby gives an Oscar-winning performance in a 1944 musical that won seven Academy Awards, including the Oscar for Best Picture. Next on TCM, Going My Way, then Hamlet, and later, Madame Curie. Oscar's Got the Cure today.